Elizabeth Bolum. Hello, Ross. Where are we now? We have gone a few kilometers along a little forest road yes. uh, from the village and this is a traditional mountain holding, a buval, where up until only 20 years ago they kept sheep in yeah. the summer so they yeah. would actually live here with the sheep all summer yeah. in, uh, in this cottage. Yeah. We just went in here, it has a little kitchen and a little bedroom and yeah. a little guest cottage. And the sheep would be grazing <laughs> down in these I think fields. you would uh, generally keep them loose, yeah. uh, grazing loose in the forest. Um, nowadays that is not generally permitted anymore. Uh, and now uh, Sven Alf maintains this land by just cutting and leaving the hay every year. So he just leaves it fallow, mm -hmm. but he cuts it every year. And if you would go and look here, you would have a nice species composition also because it was then continuously yeah. grazed for a long time yeah. and has been kept open. And yeah. now it's also cut every year. Yeah. So we you get a nice mix of, do, uh, of herbs in here. Yeah. And uh, look at the roof. Yeah. So they made that roof. They redid it 20 years ago. Yeah. It's this thatched uh, wooden. Uh, yeah, the traditional methods. Yeah, and uh, of course simple timber cottages. Okay, so here we have some small transition zone. To the field. Wow. What do we have here? Um, yeah, so I mainly know the Swedish name. So there's quite a lot of this Eli grass here that's yeah. regrowing after it was cut. Midsommar blomster a lot. Um, Hunkex. These ones that I'm not remembering now what they are without seeing the flowers. We've got the kråkvicker that yeah. we have a lot at home as well. Um, so this is a really nice controlled natural experiment because now this has not had animals for more than 20 years. Yep. And simply cut. Yep. And but it's cut, but everything is left on the land. Yeah. So not no nutrients are removed and no nutrients are added. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So this would be really good to uh, do plant maps and uh, use it as a control for other types of pasture management. Right? Yep. Oh. It's an incredibly beautiful spot you see out over yeah. the little small lake over yeah. there as well. And you can they they populate it with Arctic. Yeah, they char. stock it with Arctic char every year, and yeah. then they charge people to come and fish. <laughs> yeah, so you yeah. can come here and fish. Yeah. And pay like two hundred crowns to catch up to three fish up or to something. Three fishes, yeah. So it's pretty strictly regulated. Yeah. Uh, 